1962, JFK got us thinking about what it would be like to go to the moon in his famous We Choose speech. Man in his quest for knowledge and progress is determined and cannot be deterred. The exploration of space will go ahead. For the eyes of the world now look into space, to the moon and to the planets beyond. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon. We choose to go to the moon in this decade and do the other thing, not because they are easy, but because they are hard. Because that challenge is one that we're willing to accept, one we are unwilling to postpone, and one we intend to win. In this speech, he didn't actually build any rockets, but he created the form of the myth that everyone was to gravitate to. And so too, uh, this strategic launching is what I'm looking for in these road signs. With these road signs, we have four of our most familiar stars marked in the distance, which seems vaguely familiar. Instead of a kilometer, it's a petameter, which is a million million kilometers. These four stars, besides being easy to spot, tell us a lot about the population of different stars out there, starting with Alpha Centauri, which is 41 trillion kilometers away, or 41 petameters away is our nearest neighbour and consists of three stars, the smallest being a dwarf star like the majority of stars in our galaxy and it sports a planet. The other two stars in this three star system, uh, one is slightly dimmer and one is slightly brighter than our star. Moving on to Cirrus at 81 petameters away this is a very bright, fast moving star, moving rapidly away from us, so it's getting dimmer as it moves further away. This is a blue intense star, bright star, but it also has a companion dead star with it, so that's a two star system. Betelgeuse, some 6,000 petameters away, is a red giant. It's actually bigger than our solar system. And the next star, Rigel, which is 8,000 petameters away, is a system of five blue stars orbiting each other. And these are very intense blue hot stars. We can zip around space by using a computer program you can download into your computer called Celestia. Here we have it time sped up looking at our Sun with the orbits in purple and the various planets orbiting at much higher speed than normal. We flick to Rigel Cantaris uh, A which is Alpha Centauri and then zoom into it at high speed. We can see in this animation that it's a double star system and we can watch them orbiting enlarge that and see the heavier star has got a smaller orbit and the lighter star um, that's Alpha Centauri B is flung around the more heavy star. We can then from there just type in Cirrus and then travel to Cirrus and you notice know, here unusually as seen from Alpha Centauri when you look at Cirrus Directly in the middle of Cirrus is Betelgeuse or Declipsa. Here is a double star system as well. You've got Cirrus A and the dead star Cirrus B orbiting around the outside. We can then travel to Betelgeuse, a red giant. From there we can travel on to Rigel, all in three dimensions, in the safety of your own home, your own computer with the program called Celestia.